Hey Star Wars fans and collectors, thanks for joining me for another action figure review. We're going into the Black Series again, and this is probably one of my most eagerly anticipated figures of the year. Um, I'm really, really thrilled to finally have him in hand. It is Zeb Aurelius from Star Wars Rebels. Um, this looks like an absolutely fantastic figure. Um, I've all but decided I want to get an opener for each of this line. Um, I do have a few pre-ordered to replace my existing Rebels, um, just because I want to get the updated versions with the photo real paint app. So they will hopefully be here very soon. Um, but yeah, I really wanted to have another Zeb to keep in the box too. So I oh, will be opening this one up for review. Beautiful art on the side, on the back. He's fantastic. He's number one from the Rebels line. He is the first one. Um, and being in a bigger box, I guess you could kind of class him as a deluxe, but not really. He's just a bigger figure. So let's uh, let's get a close-up look and uh, break this dude down. All right, here is the man or the Lasat, Garazeb Aurelius. What a figure! This is incredible. I'm so so stoked with this figure. I'm so glad. Um, to finally have this figure, it was absolutely worth the wait. And we've been sort of asking Hasbro, really pushing them over the last couple of years. Where's Zeb? Where's Zeb? And uh, my defense has always been that, you know, they really need to get that translation between animated and live action right. They really need to get him, get him looking right and really define that species in uh, live action going forward. And we've since seen another one in uh, Jaro Tapol in um, Jedi Fallen Order as well. So... What else can I say? This figure is fantastic. He's got his bow rifle, which is fully, you know, articulated and movable. You can swap it into its uh, condensed mode. Um, I will pull it out of his hands, but we'll get a quick look at Zeb first. We'll get right up into his face. Check that out. What a mug. That is absolutely outstanding. I love that they kept the green eyes. You've got a sort of bit of a serious snarl. Um, a second head would have been a really cool option so you could have his mouth open. Um, but this is a nice sort of mutual looking, not mutual, um, natural looking. Neutral is the word I was looking for. Thank you very much. Um, Sort of a, you know, he's a little bit pissed off. He wants to go smash some bucket heads together. But yeah, oh, he looks absolutely outstanding. The sculpt is fantastic. I love the colouring of his skin tone. Um, the sort of purple with the dark purple lines. And the way it follows down his arm. Oh, just picking apart the sculpt too. Look, you've even got veins. Like, he's got like muscle veins going down his arm you can sort of see it there more defined there just above his elbow like he's so brutish that his veins are popping out like he's got some serious muscle power you wouldn't want to get him we'll get in the way of this guy if you're a crusty old bucket head but yeah I mean for a cartoon character um, who had a very vibrant bright coloured suit and outfit the way they've translated it through to this style is just perfect. Looks fantastic. Looks Star Wars. Um, the sculpting on his feet are absolutely incredible. The articulation they've added there as well. So he has a separate joint here. It's almost like a dog leg. You get plenty of movement there. And then the foot joint as well. And then, you know, a really tight double knee joint. They obviously had this sculpted before they went with the pinless technology. Um, so that was kind of unavoidable, but that's fine. Because, uh, you know, looking at it from the front, nice tight joints too. Um, they don't feel like they're going to break either. So, yeah, just the sculpting on the legs. Um, there is probably, if anything, there is a little sort of inconsistency with the color of his feet going up to the, to the leg there. But uh, that's not a big deal at all. He has peg holes. <clears throat> I 
And again, he does have two peg holes. That is for his bow staff or bow rifle. I do like the accents of the paint, paint work on the armor there on the shoulder. My guess is that uh, Sabine did a little bit of a touch on that. But yeah, just all the all the dents and scars and scratches and stuff in his armor looks fantastic. Looks like they may have been there and then he's repainted them. You could probably, if you really wanted to, you could probably touch up those details and add some like silver scratches to his armor if you really wanted to. But uh, I'm going to leave it. It looks fine. Yeah, just really, really blown away. They've also sculpted the hands in like a softer plastic. It's more of a dense rubber. Um, as opposed to like quite a firm plastic on the rest of the figure. Uh, his head's a little bit soft as well, but that just allows for flexibility with uh, putting the weapon in his hands. So I will get him out of the way and we'll uh, just zoom back out again. And we'll get a look at the bow rifle. So this is how it comes in the packaging, fully extended, ready for, you know, hand-to-hand -hand combat. Got the sort of electrodes lit up at the ends. Now you get this in three variations. Um, so obviously this is his sort of, you know, bow staff combat. You know, it reminds me of like the Purge Troopers or the Magna Guards. But uh, they simply do pop off. And they are a nice tight fit as well. And they just sort of slot in there. They slot in there. You turn that around and you push it in. And then you get the handle comes down and there you have it in his rifle mode. And uh, it's not a perfect fit in his hand. But you can sort of get the finger around the trigger. It's just the sort of mechanism there with the pins. It's probably a little bit too thick for his hands. But uh, you can make it work. A little bit of fiddling around and you could get that to sit in his hand nicely. And have him ready to attack with his bow rifle. In its rifle mode. And the good thing is this is sort of a groove they've marked in the back of there so that trigger is then hidden away inside that also stops from breaking getting damaged but yeah the details of the uh the rifle blaster end all the bands and straps and stuff is wrapped around it looks good but yeah like i said you can uh, bring it back out that way and just have it as is unlit unextended but yeah, we're going to do this. So what that does is we've got pins on each side. Both there and underneath. So that means you can have it any which way you want. And that pegs into his back. So you can have him in his... You know, he's just, just trekking around, Zeb. Just wandering around. He's got his rifle. He's ready for it. He's got it within reaching distance on his back. Um, but yeah, you could pull this out and uh, light it up whenever he needs to. It's just fantastic. I'm seriously blown away by this figure. It's a, it's a good solid 10 out of 10 for me. Uh, there's not really a lot I would improve on it. Um, yeah, this is just absolutely fantastic. I'd love to hear what your thoughts are down in the comments below. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and I've got plenty more videos and content coming. Um, been doing this for a long time, so stay tuned. Until next time, may the force be with you, always. We're a little rushed, so if you'll just get on board, we'll get out of here.